do this, shall we? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I've obviously not been very well with Vlogmas, but obviously this week we are catching up, we are posting more, trying to get my game in together here because Christmas is coming. So with that being said, today I am giving you another empties. I know I do these like so often, but it really is true. By the way, excuse my hair. It was curled last night and I brushed it and this is what it looks like now. So this is just how we're living my makeup might even be a little weird i don't know i don't know so we're just gonna go with it my lips are a little dry we're gonna put some of this on i actually think i might throw out a couple of my masks i bought last year let's just get right into it because i have a massive box of empties here we got a lot to go through first thing i'm very upset about because <laughs> i was planning on loving this and unfortunately i bought it last year so i think during that time being in my stash in my closet it has just uh disintegrated gotten gross whatever you want to call it this is the native of sugar cookie lotion yeah just yeah i love the smell of it i have the body wash ironically ha, in my shower right now in a different container because if you're new here hi i have a thing where i like to see my body wash shampoo conditioner cleanser i like to see it in a clear bottle as it's like going down i don't know it's a thing i have a thing i probably have a few things and i'm not aware of so uh that's just my thing try to love this it just, the texture was not giving. So you had to say goodbye. Body wash, which I am using right now in the shower. So this is just the empty bottle. Also got this last year when it was Christmas time because I've had a really bad habit in the past of buying multiples of beauty products, makeup, whatever, if I really, really love it. Even clothes at times. And I'm trying to not do that anymore. So this was also from last year, but this seems to be fine. Also, my voice did a weird thing there. <laughs> Uh, love this so far. If you can find it this year, definitely get it. Sugar cookie is one of the best scents. I also love candy cane. Fresh mistletoe is great too. I have another body wash, which clearly I tried to rip the label off this one. This is the Tree Hut Ocean Glow. It smells amazing and has shimmer in it. It's very moisturizing for your skin. I do recommend this if you're looking for a new scent from Tree Hut or just in general for body wash. This smells really, really good. This is our usual around here. The toothpaste is probably in here too, but I love TheraBreath. This one's my favorite because it's clean mint and I don't know, just the flavor of it is just perfect for me and my mouth, my teeth. So I love this so much. Was the limited edition sweet cream whipped shea butter from Tree Hut. Obviously, I again, took the wrapper off. I had decided to put that native lotion in here thinking, oh, it'll be fine. Not only was the texture absolutely atrocious, <laughs> putting it in this was not a good idea. I don't know why I thought in my head, oh, this will be such a fun idea, such a fun activity. It was not a fun activity, but I did really like this if they do come out with it again. It smells literally just like the cold foam they put on your drink at Starbucks whipped cream it kind of has like a little nutty scent to it very fall i love this during the fall time and i'm happy that it's done so now i'm using actually i'm using a jeffree star one that i bought a long time ago so yes controversial i know but so far really like that another one of these in here this my mom actually gave me it's the equate walmart generic version of the therabreath icy mint which i do <laughs> icy mint's not my favorite flavor of therabreath but it's okay however these i don't know what it is but the generic version of therabreath at walmart is disgusting i hate it i would literally rather just buy the name brand like this is just awful and it leaves a really gross taste in my mouth after so i don't recommend and will continue to not recommend and i hope my mom stops buying these and thinking that they're good because they're not <laughs> body scrub i have the pumpkin spice latte i love this one so much i think this is like the third one that i've used maybe no second the second one i've used i love this scent so much it just smells really really good for the fall and for halloween time i just loved using this obviously now that it's the holidays i feel like pumpkin's not really acknowledged anymore so we're on holiday scents but love her regardless if you could find it tj maxx i know that they're putting those out right now as long as well as the velvet coffee one from last year too body scrub this is from twisted allure which makes like really cool like horror movie Halloween themed like body stuff, which I love. Got a whole bunch of stuff from them last year and I'm obviously still trying to go through it all. But this was the Trick or Treat Sugar Scrub and Candy Corn. It smelled amazing and looked great. I did like the texture of it. 
although it wasn't as grainy grainy as the tree hut scrubs it's like a little bit finer i loved it left my skin really soft and it smelled amazing so if you want to support a small business i believe they are a small business definitely twisted allure you love horror movies and halloween hair products here of course my matrix brass off now i don't necessarily need this <laughs> i really don't but i bought this because i was like oh i'll just mix this with my so silver and it'll be fine again i don't recommend you do that <laughs> <laughs> this is for if you have, I don't know how to describe this. My cousin described this the best because she is and has been a hairstylist in the past. Basically that if you are a brunette trying to be blonde, this work will work a lot better for you because as a natural blonde, you already have like the natural blonde in your hair. You don't really need this. If you are a brunette going to blonde, your hair tends to get more brassy. I think that's what it is. So this is more intended for that. However, I still buy this on occasion and mix it in with my shampoo and with my hair mask i don't go crazy with toning anymore as we know in the past i've been like psychotic with it that we are not doing that anymore and i think my hair has thanked me because it does look a lot better than like years ago I'm not even gonna lie other hair stuff i have this little mini there's a little in here but oh now it works disrespectful that was disrespectful of you there is a little left so i'm probably gonna just Put it in my purse or something but this is the kenra volume spray super hold finishing spray 25. i know i've used this in the past and didn't like it however i'm not a hairspray girl but when i do curl my hair i really want a hairspray that's going to hold but it's not going to hold my hair like a helmet and not or not do anything at all so i feel like this is a really good mix for me it's really great it smells good um expensive but i think it's worth it but that's just me. So definitely get the small bottle if you want to try it. That's what I did. It works amazing. So I have repurchased this and I probably will until I find something better. Moving on to face stuff. I have a Tula cleanser because I have it in my shower in a clear container because well, yeah, again, I'm just, I'm psycho. I have a thing, but this is the Tula probiotic superfoods, the cult classic purifying face. That's what it is. Yep purifying face cleanser. I love this cleanser. I've used this a few times now. It is really good for my skin. I really love Tula as a skincare brand, as a brand in general, as you guys already know, I've talked about in the past in my videos. Tula is just really good. It's expensive. To me, it's worth it. Of course, if they ever had like a duped brand out there that was doing the same exact thing, then I would probably get that. When it's on sale, this is mine. Finish the CeraVe Skin Renewing Night Cream, which I love. I love CeraVe as far as like face creams, night creams you get it they just work very well for my skin being so weird combination that it is so i do recommend especially again if it's on sale this has three essential ceramides and niacinamide now that i'm getting older i really just want to preserve my youth as much as possible even though i started doing that in like my early 20s i'm still trying to do that to the best of my ability we have a toner i've used this before in the past if you've been here you know the first weekend glow daily brightening solution i really love this toner so so much i get it from target they even sent this to me before so thank you very appreciate it very nice it does not dry my skin out it really helps to get the extra makeup and oil and stuff off my face especially i know you're probably not supposed to do this but i put it like kind of on my eyes with the cotton round just to get like the excess um excess mascara off and stuff because i tend to still have residue even after i take off my makeup in the shower i take off my makeup and wash my face in the shower i don't care that's just what i do i just i used a bunch of it but i'm i'm done with this i don't like this love hello kitty love hello kitty but i don't think this is for me this is the creme shop and hello kitty double cleanse two in one daily cleanser and makeup remover so basically this acts as just a regular cleanser but it also removes your makeup love this at first but over time i felt like it was like drying my skin out and i kept getting and i still occasionally will get a dry patch right here on my nose constantly constantly since i was using this and this also just kind of stripped my skin and dry my skin out and i didn't really like that because i would use this and then my regular cleanser after it and i felt like i was just drying my face out this is probably a no for me i don't know specifically if what skin type this is meant for use twice daily for best results for makeup removal perform steps twice maybe that's where i went wrong i don't know but i'm all set with this i love the packaging of hello kitty obviously obviously if you see my vanity mirrors my set 
set up here. Love Hello Kitty. Not this. <laughs> we have a couple of cleansers. This is from Vanilla & Co. Clean It Zero Foam Cleanser. I actually really like this cleanser a lot. I definitely will repurchase this in the future. It basically kind of did all the same things that the Tula one does for me, but it's a little bit cheaper. So definitely recommend. I think I got these in like a kit with a cleansing balm because usually that's all I care about is the Vanilla & Co. cleansing balm because aesthetic but also it works very good for me and i really love that cleansing balm so so much cleanser also works really good love her we finished this this is the rem beauty miss thing <laughs> miss thing <laughs> calming face mist love the scent love the aesthetic packaging because the liquid was obviously blue it was very aesthetic and cute will i buy this again probably not because this is probably like 20 dollars, 25 dollars for what and I probably got this on sale because I'm not her or you some points. Good idea, like her. I feel like she's probably maybe worth about like 10 or 12 rather than 25, 20. So that's just my opinion though. I finally finished the NYX Freezy Face Cooling Primer and Moisturizer Base. I've been using this for months since like the summer for uh, since I went back to work. So we have basically cleared her out. She was a really good primer, very sticky nice and cooling i feel like though over time using this i lost the feeling of the cooling sensation though like i i didn't get that as much anymore but it was very good i do recommend this in the summer or if you just want that sensation on your face also has a niacinamide and snow mushroom in it but you can definitely use this alone or before makeup avoid eye area as i always prime my eyes prime my entire face every time i put makeup on Thera breath here is the other native this is the native flora, fluoride anti-cavity toothpaste, wild mint with whitening. I, you've seen this before. I love this toothpaste. It works amazing and it uh, smells nice. I love this toothpaste, hence why I keep buying it. All right, I also have a couple sanitizers in here. We have the Power Mist mint scented one. I honestly kind of done once it got to this point because this just smells like mouthwash. It smells like you're spraying mouthwash on your hands and I'm just not a fan of that. So I won't get the scent again, but I did, obviously, I love the aesthetic packaging, hence why I keep buying it. Should I buy it for, bleh, I can't talk. But definitely getting them more on sale now than anything. Sanitizer, this one is from Bath & Body Works, the Champagne, Apple, and Honey from the fall time that I had on my holder, on my badge for work. Love this one, this smelled really, really good. Time to move on though. Dreamly random, you're probably like, what in the actual f is that, Samantha? This is the Sol de Janeiro rio deodorant but it is in one of those like refillable things basically this is from the original deodorant but i bought the refills for it spend more money when the refills are cheaper also and save the environment but i really love this deodorant a lot maybe smell nice i know a lot of people are like on the fence about like oh so de Janeiro deodorant man but if it's on sale i will definitely buy it just because i love that scent of the boom boom cream so so much Sharosa 62 worth it to me it worked great for me the beauty blender solid cleanser because i just cleaned all my brushes she's gone love this i repurchased this for years i have been repurchasing this for years since like 2015 i feel like 2016 something along the lines but this is like the only thing that really gets my brushes and my beauty blenders super super clean that i will spend my money on without a doubt better than baby shampoo i don't know this is just one thing i will always splurge on because it works and it doesn't dry my brushes out and doesn't dry my beauty blenders out how many times can i say it works it works it works it works it works it works oh my god chill this is expired hence why this is in here um, ew, and there's something in it. I don't know what that is. This is the O'Keefe's Working Hands Hand Cream for Extremely Dry Cracked Hands. I used to get such horrible, and I probably will once it gets colder out, dry cracked hands all the time, and literally nothing really would work. So I started buying these, and I absolutely love it. I did buy the actual like hand cream in like a tube now though, but this has saved me. The only thing is that you can't use a lot of it Otherwise your hands will get really sticky and your hands might burn a little bit, a slight little bit. You know, it's like a burn to like, oh, it's working. Like that kind of a burn, not like a, oh my God, it's burning my hands, help. I do recommend if you get really dry, cracked hands in the winter time, because Lord knows I do, I'm always reaching for this because it's the only thing that works. Last few makeup things I wanna share with you guys. Obviously we finished the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder and Light and fair lights i love these so much as i've said so many times i finished a lot of these my only claim again is what you already know if you've watched me for a long time the shade range is
terrible because literally goes from 10 to 15 and if you can see inside there that shade range difference is huge there should be some shades in between maybe they have more online or at other stores but usually when i go to target and get these it's literally like 5 10 15 20 like make it make sense please like you have a whole huge range of foundation colors for all your foundations but not for the loose powder i see you maybelline i see you love this powder though we'll continue to buy it but i usually have to find myself using these two at once otherwise i look really really weird depending especially if i'm in between and i'm like coming off the summer and i'm tan and i'm coming and i'm losing my tan and i'm becoming more like fair skin again like just a thing just just a thing just like a just a thought maybelline a couple of these really dark concealer shades because i was contouring with them last year as you guys know they are disgusting now so i'm not using them but this was the elf camo concealer in rich cocoa and then this was the maybelline one in what are you i don't even know oh walnut which also i have to say <laughs> I think I'll just stick with bronzers then just the dark complexion concealers for contouring. I don't know, just yeah. Texture was just not not giving, not working with me very well. Tarte Sugar Rush Skin Treat Concealer. I cannot get any more up. I didn't want to use this anymore basically. This was $30 for this tiny little thing yes i know um i wanted to splurge and try it so i did and honestly i do love the sugar rush brand i think it's great um i think that the skin tint that i buy is worth it the other wise i think you could find cheaper elsewhere it's like a <laughs> look at this it's like a like a cigarette i do think you could find cheaper elsewhere and other brands i don't know it's it is really good it's just the price point that's a little like oh, okay like a bit much and you literally just get like maybe that much concealer which i mean it's a lot but i don't know i feel like a concealer would have to be like literally this long in length for me to consider like for 30 dollars worth i think I, there's two of them in here these were supposed to be returned and never got returned because i forgot about them i bought two more nyx suede matte lip liners because i do love nyx liners however yeah these are like brand new so i might actually just give them to my mom or my sister or something we have the shades london and tea and cookies now if you look at the top okay like i thought this was gonna be like a mauvey kind of like kylie dupe kind of color really cute and then this kind of looked like kind of looked like sandstorm a little bit like a slight little bit i was like oh it, it kind of looks like sandstorm that's that's perfect like i love that open them up just take a moment i don't think i'm being that dramatic about this because i think that this has been happening to a lot of people on tiktok as well that have complained that nyx is like doing this where they make their shades at the bottom look darker than the color inside of the tube because that brown ain't doing it for me and i do not really wear pink lips like that anymore so last thing i just well last couple things sorry we already know this is the morphe and meredith duxbury shaping and sculpting and shaping wax i've used this for months i really thought this was a good product yeah um no <laughs> i noticed a lot of the time that my brows would just kind of fall after i would just do work so hard to shape them up into the shape that i want they would just mm, go right back down and just look like a big bushy mess with no shape no nothing and i thought i looked fine i thought it was fine we were i was like let's just ignore this fact it's fine everything's fine no now as you guys know i use i'm back to using the got to be glued spiking gel love this it really does work i just take it off a makeup remover but it holds it holds my brows like this all day and i'm happy and that's all there is to it i don't think there's anything comparable to this that i will ever use besides the nyx like brow glue but other than that like this is it i'm not telling you to go get the got to be <laughs> spiking glue for your eyebrows I know they have a brow gel. I just, I don't know. I just have had this, so I'm using it. Elf Lash and Roll Dupe Mascara for the Benefit Roller Lash that I like as well. This was a really good mascara. It's a lot cheaper than the Benefit Roller Lash. Does basically the same thing. Um, it lasts on my mas it lasts on my mascara. It lasts on my mascara. It's fine. It lasts on my eyelashes. It doesn't smudge. It doesn't get everywhere. It doesn't flake is a very good formula do recommend if you want the roller lash or if you're a diehard fan of the roller lash but don't want to spend the money that one does the same thing that is it for 
my empties. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will definitely be collecting more. I got a lot of stuff. I'm, I'm trying to use up everything I have, as you guys know. I'm not really trying to be like I was and just shopping all the time and stocking up constantly because I felt like a need to fill a void. That's literally what it is. Trying to fill a void that will never be full. It's a sad fact, but it's true. I think a lot of us with shopping maybe feel that way. I don't know, but that's just me. So that being said, I love you guys so much. Hope you have an awesome day. Subscribe if you want to see more of me. Like this video if you enjoyed. Turn on bell post notifications so when the f I post a new video. And I will see you guys in the next vlog slash video slash I don't know. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.